Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. This is Kevin Moon from God's Country. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. Dr. Don with you on your Thursday morning. We have got a lot to tell you about, including some life-threatening weather uh, that will move into East Alabama and West Georgia after midnight tonight. So make sure that you stay tuned for this morning's prime time forecast. Don't forget to scan that QR code on the screen. That's going to carry you over to Alpha Insurance, where Jamie Dukas can save you a lot of money. You can also click that link at the top of this video or call Jamie at 256-831-7770. Get in touch with Jamie today and find out just how much you can save with Alpha Insurance. Current conditions at the East Alabama Bee Company. Our temperature is 41. The high for yesterday was 48. Mostly cloudy skies out there. There could be a sprinkle or two. Wind out of the east northeast at 4, gusting to 9. The humidity level is 98%. Barometric pressure 30.11 no rain officially in the past 24 hours sunrise this morning at 639 sunsets this evening at 440 don't forget to stop by ml aubrey's in downtown roanoke or randolph farmers co-op up in wedowie to pick up that east alabama bee company honey headed for 54 this afternoon in roanoke under mostly cloudy skies 53 in ashland 52 in lineville 52 also in wedowie and woodland 50 up in ranburn carol Carrollton will make it to 52, Valley goes to 55, and Dadeville will top out this afternoon at 55 degrees. And you should enjoy these mid-50s. Yeah, because it's going to be a minute before we see the mid-50s again. Uh, we are headed for some major cold weather over the uh, extended Christmas holiday weekend. Let's take a look at your six-day forecast from the Alpha West. Weather Center. So today, no big deal. Just mostly cloudy skies, high temperatures in the mid 50s. But then after midnight tonight, that um, Polar Express, the Arctic Blast, uh, will move into East Alabama from the northwest. Our temperatures will start to take a nosedive. And between about 1 a.m. tomorrow morning and sunrise tomorrow morning, well, we're going to lose about 25, maybe 30 degrees in temperature, maybe even a little more than that. It's going to be brutal, and the temperature is just going to crash. Uh, along with that, our humidity and dew point levels will also fall, so the air is going to be extremely dry. There is not much precipitation at all uh, involved with this storm system, so uh, those of you that were hoping for a white Christmas, I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. We will give you a 40% chance of precipitation, though if anything at all falls, it's most likely going to be rain, though there is a very, very small chance right there on the back side of the moisture uh, where you could see a snowflake or two flurries at best. It is not going to accumulate. It is not going to be an issue across East Alabama and West Georgia. And it's actually a good thing because this cold uh, the air is going to be so cold, if we had a lot of precipitation with it, would be running the risk of flash freezing uh, because the cold air is going to hit us so fast, uh, and then that would cause all kinds of problems. Uh, so good thing that we don't have a lot of moisture involved with this storm system. But hey, we're headed for 17 degrees, your overnight low, and then tomorrow, uh, while we will have full-blown sunshine, we're only going to make it to 24 for your high. And we're headed for 9 degrees on Friday night. That's the actual air temperature. We may see wind chill factors down around minus 5 across East Alabama and West Georgia. Now, that's going to freeze everything it touches. Uh, so if you have exposed outdoor pipes, they're going to freeze, folks. So you have to take the precautionary measures. You have to make sure you get the water out of those pipes. If you cannot insulate those pipes, and uh, protect them in some some way, then you got to get the water out of them because they're going to freeze. Guarantee they will freeze at nine degrees with wind chill factors below zero. Uh, so you got to take care of that today. Make sure your automobiles are taken care of. 
your pets have no option. They have to come indoors. There is nothing you can do outside on your back porch, in your garage, on your front porch. There's nothing you can do to protect them from this kind of cold. This is different from anything we normally deal with. They must come indoors. You can't just put a blanket on the front porch and think that your dog or cat's going to be okay in this weather. That will not work. You're going to have an issue when you get up uh, on Saturday morning so or Friday morning. So take care of those pets. Check on the elderly. Make sure that they have adequate heat. A lot of folks use electric heat. Those space heaters uh, don't use extension cords. Make sure there's at least three feet of space all the way around those electric heaters. Use a little common sense. Be careful. Don't heat with barbecue grills. Don't heat with your oven. Uh, if you're going to be burning a fireplace, make sure that your fireplace is in good working order. Never leave an electric heater unattended. Don't go to sleep with an electric heater burning. Make sure you're staying right there beside it. Uh, be prepared for the loss of water because of freezing pipes. And there may also be some scattered power outages because of the horrific winds we're going to be dealing with. Winds could gust 35, 40 miles per hour. That could take down some trees. And, of course, that could cause some power outages. Utility workers cannot work in 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. So it could potentially be some extended periods of no power through all of this cold. Be prepared for all of that as we head into tonight. Hard freeze warning goes into effect at midnight tonight. Wind chill advisory also goes into effect at midnight tonight. On Christmas Eve Saturday, we will make it up to a very warm 27 degrees in the afternoon. And then we drop back into the teens on Saturday night as Santa Claus arrives. And then on Christmas Sunday, mostly sunny, 34 and down to 17 on Christmas night. Monday and Tuesday, temperatures start to moderate. 40 on Monday, 46 out there on Tuesday. But we'll stay in the mid-20s for overnight lows at least through Tuesday night of next week. Folks, we've been talking about this weather event now for about three weeks. Uh, I'm awfully proud of our weather forecasters at the National Weather Service offices across the country uh, because they have done a phenomenal job with this weather forecast. And I know you are sick of hearing about it because we've been talking about it for so long. But understand, here in the southeastern United States, we don't have cold weather like this very often. Now, if we were in Chicago, Illinois, or Denver, Colorado, it would be a different story. We'd be accustomed to it out there. We're not accustomed to it here in the southeastern United States. And if you don't think hypothermia can't be a life-threatening situation, it is. And I, I beg of you to take this very seriously. Just as serious as a severe weather tornado outbreak, because it is indeed life-threatening. This cold air will kill you. Make sure you are prepared take care of yourself if you're going to be in an automobile a lot of folks are going to be traveling this weekend hey you got to make sure you you've got everything in that car that you need in case you have a mechanical issue you never know what can happen you could break down you could be stranded for hours uh, so make sure you've got extra clothing in that automobile water food make sure you've got a fully charged battery on your on your phone this has to be taken seriously folks so please make sure you do that today. Get ready for this brutal cold air that's headed our way. All right, so let's take a look at the Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar, and we can show you uh, two areas of precipitation this morning. You see that stuff over South Carolina up into North Carolina and the Virginias. That is moving away from us, uh, maybe uh, uh, giving us a little bit of a sprinkle in some areas across Alabama and Georgia this morning, but that's pulling off to the northeast. That's not the issue. Look back up to the northeast uh, from Madison, Wisconsin, all the way down to around Kansas City, and then trailing back over to around Denver, Colorado. That is the leading edge of this uh, Arctic blast that is headed our way. And you'll notice that there just isn't much precipitation involved in all of this. We've got some snow showers up there around Green Bay, Wisconsin, down to around Milwaukee, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, then down to around Kansas, just north of Wichita, uh, and out there in uh, Colorado, just south of Denver. 
We've got a little bit of uh, snow shower activity taking place there, but this is just not going to produce much in the way of precipitation. It's literally going to be too cold to snow across the southeast. It, it's the, 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 the moisture, what little bit of moisture there is in the air uh, because of the low dew points and relative humidity levels, it's just going to zap all the moisture out of the air. Uh, so when this comes through East Alabama tonight, I expect it to be uh, even less precipitation than it is now. And uh, so you could see a sprinkle or two, and, and we can't completely rule out a snow flurry um, 3, 4, 5 a.m. tomorrow morning as the cold front itself passes East Alabama and West Georgia. But it's not going to accumulate. Uh, there's just not going to be enough to accumulate. And right now, we don't anticipate any travel issues from precipitation. Uh, now, if if we do have a little rain and that cold air gets in here fast enough, uh, there could be a few slick spots on the roadway, but I really don't think that's going to be the problem. I think the problem is going to be the dangerously cold wind chill factors. That That is what's going to, this storm is going to be remembered for that. Uh, so make sure you're protected and prepared for this cold air that is headed our way this Christmas season. And don't forget to follow us over on Twitter. It's at DSTREN1040. We broadcast all of our weather information on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at drdonwx.com. You can go to our website, upper right-hand corner. You'll see a donate button. There you can click and help support us here, Dr. Don's Weather. We depend on you. Without your support, we cannot continue to do this. So please help us out. If you're on Facebook, we'd love to get those Facebook stars. If you or someone you know owns a business and you'd like to support us, just as those folks you see scrolling on the left-hand side of your screen, Miss Donna McKay and the town of Wadley. All you have to do is send me a message on Messenger, and I can have you started by the time we do our next weather forecast. Folks, we are standing up our emergency operations center up here in northeast Georgia at midnight tonight, and we uh, were supposed to be off tomorrow for Christmas, but hey, this is what us folks in public safety do, <laughs> so uh, our entire staff uh, and crew at White County Public safety in northeast georgia uh are so unselfishly uh agreed to help us when, during this weather event so we're going to be working uh, at least uh, through friday and probably into saturday and if need be all the way through christmas weekend so keep us in your thoughts and prayers and understand that i may not be able to bring you another weather forecast uh, or i may not be able to go live through christmas weekend I will be able to post on Facebook, and I will continue to do that uh, if there's anything you need to know as far as the weather's concerned. Uh, but uh, high likelihood, I will not be able to bring you a primetime forecast in the morning. Uh, may not be able to bring you one Saturday morning. Uh, but like I said, we'll see how things go, and um, I'll be back with you just as soon as I can. I certainly will be posting information, so we'll keep you updated that way. Stay safe. Take this very seriously, folks. You can't get caught outdoors in this cold weather after it moves through here tonight at midnight. Godspeed. Have a very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you back in here just as soon as I can with another edition of your Primetime Forecast on Dr. Don's Weather.